Hi, welcome to my guide for the gauntlet in Old School RuneScape. I assume you know where to find it. It's in Prithdinas, Prithdinas, and up here on the top left, the gauntlet. You go in, gauntlet portal. Requirements, nothing. You don't need anything. There's a bank deposit box here. You should have high combat stats. I assume you read the RuneScape strategy guide. This video, just follow the video and you're good to go. So when we start, we scout or we go around the rooms next to the gauntlet. What I like to do, I like to kill all of the enemies that appear. Always collect the crystal shards. Always collect the crystal shards. And make sure to gather the resources whenever you find them. So you want to get seven seven of each collectible resource so now the bark from the trees we need seven of these and if you kill the enemies here you will want to get a weapon frame at least one or basically you need one first the rest you will see later in the video so we're getting the ore or basically just all the resources you get three each so now we have six bark and six ores there's another tree. We're going to get one more. Alright, we got it. We can drop the axe now. And while you are here, we grind the crystal shards three times with the pestle and mortar. Mortar. Uh, you can drop it afterwards if you have 30 crystal dust. You don't need the pestle and mortar anymore. By the way, this is for potions. I'm just saying I'm prayer 99. I need like one and a half potions. It really depends on your prayer level. So if you have a lower prayer level, you will want to grind more crystal dust. But I think three should be enough, even if you're 70 prayer. So as I said, we scout all the, the rooms around the boss. Kill everything that you see. Collect all of the shards and gather all of the resources. So on the top left you can see I have seven, seven from the wood. Six ores and six cotton. I need one more cotton and one more ore. Then we're good to go. So we're just killing the mobs. Grab the crystal shards. There we go. Take that. Perfect. There are the ores that we need. Crystal shard. We're going to grab one more ore. Now that we have seven, we don't need the pickaxe anymore. We can drop it. There's the cotton. We're going to grab one more cotton. And there it is. We have all we need, all the resources. So, next step. Drop everything, all of the resources you have gathered. I made a mistake. Don't drop the weapon frame. You will want to keep that. Um, we craft a bow and upgrade the bow. Then we make three vials. Then we go down here to the water pump. Fill all the vials. Now that this is complete, we equip the bow and we go north. And we grab the herbs that we see on the way. You can combine it with the water vial. Use the crystal dust on it. And you have a acne oil potion. Restores your prayer and your stamina. So you can drink one if your stamina is low. As I said, it really depends on your prayer level and your combat stats. Of Yeah, it depends on how many you want. For me, as I said... One and a half, two are more than enough at level 99. If you are level 70, I think three should be enough. Maybe four to be on the safe side. So we went to the most outer circle. Collect all the herbs you need. As I said, it depends on your level. If you see fishing spots, try to fill your inventory with all the fishes you can get. While we're doing this. 
So, we got some fishes. Also, you will want to have around 400 crystal shards. If you need more resources or if you need more potions, of course, you need more. So, there are three mini bosses on the outer circles of the arena. There's a dragon, there's a bear, and there's a dark beast. The dragon uses magic attack and drops the stuff that lets you upgrade the staff that we're going to make. The bear drops the stuff to upgrade the halberd and the dark beast upgrades the stuff to upgrade the bow. We are not going to use melee. We're just going to use range and magic. Also collect the weapon frame that the mini boss drops. So then first mini boss down you want to scout for more. So we have a bear now kind of unlucky. That's fine though. The bear is going to drop its upgrade material. We're going to collect it. Because the next mini boss, it does not matter what it is, it's going to guaranteed drop the next upgrade material that is missing. So we're just going to kill him. Pray melee against him, obviously. And mage against the dragon, range against the crystal. Uh, dark beast, not crystal. Alright, we got this. Now we have to find one more. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's a dark beast, dragon or bear we just continue to run okay yeah kind of unlucky um, you basically don't have to worry about time that much yeah there's a bear which is fine since we have the crystal spike and the crystal orb already he's going to drop drop the crystal bowstring that's what we want for our crystal bow, since we want to perfect it. And down he goes, and there it is, crystal, crystal bowstring. We have one weapon frame, use the teleport crystal, go back to the beginning area, drop all of your fishes. Go ahead, drop all of your fishes, drop the harpoon, collect the resources you gathered on the first run, grab everything you can, and collect it. So, we upgrade our bow, make it perfected. We craft crystal staff, upgraded, attuned, upgraded again, perfected crystal staff, perfect. We craft the legs, the body, upgrade, yeah, upgrade the body. I wanted to make the helmet, but yeah, we're going to upgrade it anyways. So we upgrade each armor piece once. Where's my helmet? There we go. We have a helmet. I upgraded the top, upgrade the helmet, upgrade the legs. There it is. Now we don't need... Yeah, I don't need the crystal dust anymore. Collect your food again. Collect all of your food again. Go over here to the cooking range. Just click it once. He's cooking... Or you cook pretty fast, so it's fine. So, if you enter the boss, he's always going to use ranged first. So you want to pray against ranged. As you can see, he's praying against range as well, so I'm not going to use the bow now. I will be using magic first. So, protect against missiles, enter. So here are the, here are the boss mechanics. He is changing its attack style every four attacks he does. Watch the boss, watch the boss. He's going to make a small animation. This one, this little Pikachu animation. He's going to tell you when he changes his attacks. And then you just switch again. After six successful attacks on the boss, he's going to change his protection, uh, his protection prayer. So you have to switch to Either magic or ranged, depending on what he's praying against.
If you get too close to the boss, he's going to stomp you and this can hurt really bad. So try to avoid going cl too close to the boss. And you see these disco tiles on the floor. Don't stand in them. It's basically the floor is lava. Don't stand in them. It hurts. And as you can see, the boss sometimes spawns like a tornado. You, you will want to avoid the tornadoes, obviously. And then last mechanic you have to look out for is... An attack from the boss it's like a darker attack the attack is a little darker and you can actually hear it it disables your prayers so now you see he did the tornadoes avoid the floor is lava tiles and the tornadoes there it was he turned off my prayer turn him back on Get out of the floor is lava tiles. Stay calm. That's important as well. Always try to keep an eye on the boss to see the animation. Or you can also count if you want. Like one, two, three, four. Every attack. That's it. That's all you need for the gauntlet. That's how you, def that's how you do it. Just follow this guide. That's how you do the gauntlet. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I could help you and if you want more guides you can let me know down in the comments. I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv paddo, P-A-A-D-O and I hope to see you around. Thank you for watching, bye.